Hey guys, Chainer here again. Today we're going to be looking at patch 2.2.0. Alright, so 2.2.0 PTR or Public Test Realm is available to download on the Blizzard launcher right now. We're not able to access the PTR servers just yet, but it looks like it's going to be soon, which I'm not too happy about, to be honest, because, I mean, they released Season 2, and we're all excited for Season 2, you know? There's lots of stuff to do right now in Season 2. I'm still, sorry, I'm still gearing up my barb. Um, you know, I'm pretty geared now. I got, I got all my stuff. I'm still looking for an Ancient Furnace. I'm still trying to, you know, get all my stats right. I'm still, I got to work towards farming my keys, getting my Greater Rift pushes in. Lots and lots of stuff. I'm Paragon 650. I want to get that higher. Um, and then, I mean, what are they going to do? After two weeks of Season 2 being up, they're going to release a PTR that's going to be up for like two months again. Last time I went to play the PTR, when, I, when the PTR finally finished and I came back, they threw a, a patch at us out of nowhere um, and pretty much stopped me from progressing on Season 1 Greater Rift leaderboards. So, I don't know. I mean, I guess it is what it is. Um, hopefully, I, I really think they should wait a, at least a few more weeks. Let the, you know, let people enjoy the season and put it out. But regardless, regardless, all this stuff is really, really, really cool. So much stuff. So much stuff, guys. It almost seems that, like, they wanted to get 2.2 out for season two but we only got some of that because i mean the amount of stuff that's coming in this patch is crazy it's crazy i mean new sets revamp sets oh my god so much stuff um let's just uh start looking at it so right now i'm on diablofans.com this is the front page of diablo fans um you could find some of my barbarian builds like right here that's another one of my builds another one of my builds you can find lots of builds in general here are some of Quinn's builds um, mods uh, who else is up here <laughs> now that I think about it who else Ujo Anyways, lots of cool builds, lots of stuff, but Diablo fans is great for um, just Diablo news in general. They're always posting stuff every day or whenever something comes up. Whenever there's something like a PTR or something to down, they always data mine the, the patch itself. They go into the files and they start you know, pulling out all the information for us, condense it into a nice little post, and here it is for us to enjoy. So DiabloFans.com, guys, go check it out if you don't know about it. Um, all right, so PTR patch 2.2 data mined. All right, all right. Let's see, let's see, let's see. What do we got here? Table of contents. New and updated set bonuses. That us. Uh, we'll talk about it. It's it's awesome. But <laughs> moving on, new legendary and possible set strings. Platinum and premium features. All right, so on the Asia servers, they're adding like a kind of free-to-play microtransaction store, seems like. It's really hard to say what it is right now or what the models are going to be, but it's for the Asia servers. So um, don't be too worried. Um, I'm sure most of it's like, you know, cosmetic and, and all this stuff, but it's just a little too early on. And, you know, odds are that we're not even going to be affected by this. I mean, just Western games and Eastern games are slightly different. And, you know, maybe the the Diablo Asia team or whatever felt that that would be cool over there. And they're doing that. I mean, there's, you know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> There's some cool stuff in there though, like wings and, and all these cosmetic items, and I really want that personally. What I don't want are like, I don't know, freemium model, I guess. Like, you, you know, you can play the game for free, and then if you unlock this or you unlock that or you pay monthly, then you get access to the whole game, or, you know, you gotta pay this much to unlock the 
Act Five with the Crusader, and I mean it's basically the same, but I mean some some kind of a cosmetic store. I I I want. I actually want that. But things like XP boosters and and I don't know. That's just my opinion. Whatever. We'll see. We'll see what happens. It's it's too early on to say. It's just too early. Don't jump to conclusions, guys. All right. Class skill changes. Cursed realms. Item flavor text. New bounties. Level area names. Follower side quest dialogue. Whatever. Uh, the first few things are really cool. Updated set bonuses. New legendary impossible set strings. Platinum uh, class skill changes. Those three things. Awesome. Moving down. New and updated set bonuses. Alright, so now this is the Barbarian set. Right here. Wrath of the Waste, two pieces. Ren deals 400% increased damage. Wrath of the Waste, four pieces. Ren lasts 400% longer. Wrath, Wrath of the Waste, six pieces. Ra Whirlwind <laughs> deals 400% increased damage to enemies affected by your rend. Um, this is basically the same thing they showed us at BlizzCon 2014, right? I mean, that's it. Uh, Whirlwind set. Cool. Everyone's excited for that, but wait. Wait, guys. Don't worry about this. There's something way cooler I'm going to show you. Um, you know, we also got the Wizard set and the Demon Hunter set, and they redid some sets down here, and I think the... The sets over here that were redone are just, oh, this is the first time we're seeing this or getting this information. Now, let's look at Immortal Kings. Currently, Immortal Kings, four-piece, Ancients last until they die. Check out the new Immortal Kings. Immortal Kings, two-piece, call the Ancients last until they die. Oh, my God. So strong. That is so cool. Now that it's only two pieces, plus, you know, we got a belt slot, so, you know, you could wear that, you know, ba basically it's just taking away one piece. Um, I don't know. It's just awesome. That is awesome. We'll see. We'll see what kind of combinations we could think of. Um, got some ideas right now, but going to wait for the PTR until I could really start playing around trial and error type deal, theory crafting, but... Immortal Kings is looking cool, but that's not it. Wait. Immortal Kings call... Huh? Whatever. IK Four Piece. Call the Ancients melee attacks also deal 600% weapon damage in a 15-yard radius. Alright, so now the Ancients are going to run around smacking things, but anything that's clustered up that they're smacking is going to, you know, they're going to do AoE, AoE damage. Kind of like one big uh, bloodshed. Now your ancients don't proc battle rage bloodshed, on, unfortunately. But this is nice because, like, if you're playing Raycor and you score, not even if you're playing Raycor, just ground stomp, pulling mobs in in general, scoop them in. Now they're in a one, you know, little condensed area. Now hopefully the ancients kind of run and hit those mobs because you can't control what they're hitting. You could have 15 mobs packed here and then one mob up here. And your ancient, two of your ancients are hitting the mob up there. I mean, you can kind of just back out and try to reset them so they'll go for the clump of mobs. But, you know, what are you going to do? I mean, still, the, you know, it's not bad. That's all right. The four-piece bonus is all right. I, I'm not sure if I'd go out of my way for them because ancients are mainly for single target anyways, right? But, IK six-piece. Increase the duration of your Wrath of the Berserker. <laughs> by some weird number stuff, second, seconds, every time an Ancient deals damage. Alright, so, it's just going to increase Wrath of the Berserker's duration every time your Ancients deal damage. I'm hoping this means, you know, with some high CDR, and we're going to have some Perma Wrath, Perma IK. And now with this IK set, this is, sim is going to be similar to the Crusaders, a Con set where barbarians are going to be able to play whatever they want to play. Now, this IK build, of course you're going to use your Wrath, of course you're going to use your Call of the Ancients, but now how you deal damage and what abilities you choose to use with that, 
You could play Whirlwind, you could play um, Seismic Slam, um, you could try to use the Physical Ancients who generate you a little more Fury, but I don't think I would do that. Um, hopefully they raise the damage of all the other elements of Immortal King so that Fire doesn't just by far beat everything. So we could kind of choose not just damage, but we could kind of choose like what kind of secondary IK bonus do we want. You know, one, like the cold one makes it so you deal more damage to the mobs that the I, the more the ancients hit. And the physical one makes it so that you generate fury every time they swing. Um, that's, that's really cool, but, um, you know, there's, there's more, there's more stuff in this patch. Um, they're still working on it, we'll see. But, th this is a little confusing right here, because, right here. Increase the duration of your Wrath of the Berserker by... 0.5 bracket 1 another bracket weird line 4 seconds colon seconds semicolon <laughs> um some calculation will just have to wait i guess unless um i don't know i don't know some weird calculation either way um it seems like we're going to get that permarath that yeah, you know, was the staple stone of the vanilla Diablo bar, vanilla Diablo three bar. So that's pretty cool. I'm kind of excited for the IK, the, the IK change. I'm more excited for the IK change than I am for Wrath of Wastes. I gotta say, but I mean, you know, there's some other cool stuff here. We got the wizard set. Um, we got the demon hunter multi shot set. We got Roland's. Roland's got to change. I didn't read this one. Every use of shield bash and sweep attack reduces the cooldowns of your laws and defensive skills by one second. Okay. Increase the damage of shield bash and sweep attack by 500%. Okay. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm not a crusader, so... <laughs> I do I do have the ZDPS build, I know, I know a little bit of condemn build. But I'm kind of confined to that. I, I don't really know the whole entire um kit or skill set of Crusader, so uh, I couldn't tell you if that's that great or that bad or whatever. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Um Raiment of a Thousand Storms could be good. Could be good. What we're looking at here. Your spirit generators have 25% increased attack speed and 500% increased damage. Increase the weapon damage of dashing strike to 5,000. Um, I think that's up from 3,000, so that's pretty cool. Dashing strike spends 50 spirit but refunds a charge when it does. So it seems like if you have some spirit in your tank, then it's going to consume it and it's going to give you back a charge of your dashing strike. So this seems like it's going to make it similar to what Furious Charge is for a Barbarian, where you're going to be able to spam those dashing strikes, and then when you run out of charges and when you run out of spirit, you just come in and now you are you just swing some spirit generators, some cyclone strikes or whatever, and you get 500% increased damage on those, get a little bit of spirit, and then you're dashing again. And, you know, those charges at the same time are slowly regening. So it's going to be generator, generator, dash, dash, generator, dash, generator, dash. Anytime you have some extra 50 spirit, you just spend it on a dash. Anytime the cooldown comes around and you get another charge dash, you use dash. 5,000% damage. Nice. Nice. Um, yeah, there's lots, lots of cool stuff. Um, in his mantra, two-piece. Increase the passive effect of your mystic ally and the base passive effect of your mantra by a hundred percent. Sure. Natalia's. I didn't actually read this one yet. The cooldown of Reign of Vengeance is reduced by two seconds every time you cast a primary skill and by three seconds every time you cast a Hatred Spender. Reign of Vengeance deals 800% increased damage. Okay, um... 
I don't know. <laughs> Although I am building my Demon Hunter, and I do have all my Marauders. I have a decent Ancient Crossbow. Um, I have some cool stuff for my Demon Hunter. I did get um, a Fire Crit Damage SOJ for my Demon Hunter. I got... Ooh, I just got an Ancient... Uh, witching hour belt for my demon hunter that had 49% crit damage only 5% attack speed But 49% crit damage ancient with the six. I'm gonna be able to roll 650 dexterity on it Got got the natural vitality it you know, It's pretty cool. It's an ancient witching hour. So that's pretty fun I got my SOJ and then I, I got a pus spitter. So it's not that great. It doesn't have reduced resource cost but uh, you know um, Demon Hunter is not really my main class, so still pretty fun. I leveled up my Gem of Ease. I got it to like level 37 right now, so I'll be able to just breeze through the levels with my level 1 Demon Hunter wearing an ancient pus spitter. <laughs> That's going to be pretty fun. Alright, so we got new legendaries over here. Some stuff. Let's go look at the Barbarian stuff. I actually didn't read this yet, so let's read it together. Enemies hit by your Furious Charge take value percent weapon damage over 3 seconds. Okay, so maybe they're changing the, the dot on Raycor 5-piece bonus. Does 3,000%. Maybe they're upping that because, I mean, Barbarian single target is still pretty... Uh. It would be nice if what they did was after the 3 seconds, it would explode. The dot would explode for... I don't know, 5,000% damage, 7,000%, who knows. That would be pretty cool though, so you could just kind of charge, let your dots, and then boom, it explode, and you charge back in, set all your dots up, boom. The thing is, if you reapply that dot, it would never explode, so only in situations where you have lots of mobs and lots of density, would you go in and charge, 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 and blow everything up with your battle rage, bloodshed damage, and nothing's going to compete to that. But when you fall behind and you get low density, you just charge in once and just kind of leave it alone until the dot explodes. And then you charge in again, leave it alone until the three seconds go by, and boom. That could be pretty cool. But that's just me pooping ideas out of my head, so... Let's see what else we got here. The first enemy hit by Furious Charge takes value percent additional damage. That's also part of the Raycor set. I don't know. Increase the duration of your Wrath of the Berserker by value seconds every time an Ancient deals damage. That is the new Immortal King passive. Um, Wrath of the Berserker gains the effect of every rune. Wait, what? Wrath of the Berserker gains the effect of every rune. What? You know, one of the runes is 50% damage reduction, and the other one's, you know, the damage increase from Insanity, and there are some nice runes on Wrath of the Berserker. That is crazy. Ground Stomp causes an avalanche. We saw that one in a previous 2.2 um, announcement. They showed us that item. It, it was a pair of boots where Ground Stomp causes avalanche. I don't know about those. I, I don't think I'm too, too excited about them. I don't know if I want to give up a slot or a set speed, set piece for that. Another one, Call of the Ancients melee attacks also deal value percent. We saw this in the IK. Um, increase the damage of Whirlwind, that's Wrath of the Waste. Ren last value percent, that's Wrath. Ren deals value, that's Wrath. Whirlwind deals value percent increased damage to enemies affected by your Ren. That's Wrath. I'm sorry, this one was Skullgrass Boring. They showed that, they showed that to us as well. Um, where increase the damage of whirlwind by value percent weapon damage. So I think it was like what was it 50 75 or a hundred percent something like that um, Weapon damage to whirlwind uh, and it was a passive on the skull grasp ring So that's pretty cool And then of course, you know wizard got some pieces and monk got some and witch doctor and crusader and demon hunter and then a whole bunch of other ones. I'm not going to read them all. So, like I said, DiabloFans.com. You'll find this right now. Go look through it. Um, let's kind of read the MISC. Item pass of unique. Chance on kill to raise a skeleton to fight for you. Upon accumulating five skeletons, they explode for 300% weapon damage. And the sword transforms into Ashbringer for a short time. 
Attacking with Ashbringer burns your target for value percent weapon damage as holy. What? <laughs> Attacks increase your resistance to that damage type by value percent for 6 seconds. Uh, okay. Grants a value percent chance to block attacks. Blocked attacks uh, inflict 20% less damage. After blocking an attack, your next attack inflicts 20% additional damage. That's kind of interesting, I guess. Depending on which multiplicative pool that damage buff falls into. Attacking enemies below value percent life freezes them for 3 seconds. Yeah, your skill cooldowns are reduced by value seconds. That's nice. Okay, why is my screen moving around? Let's lock my scroll. Reduce the remaining cooldown of one of your skills by value seconds each time you spend resource. Okay. Yeah, I like that. Summons a fallen lunatic to your side every value seconds. No way, the fallen lunatics, those are the little guys in Act 3. Um, in Keep Depths, especially the maniacs, lunatics, whatever. Uh, lunatics might be the Act 2 ones. I don't know. But they're the little, little, like, little ball looking guys. They're kind of cute looking, I guess. Right? They're little ball, little tiny little things. They run around and they're like, boom! They explode. Um,. I think one of the bosses, Ember, might be, might be Ember, summons them, and they just go, boom, they explode, they explode, and they usually one-shot you, so, they're easy, easy, easy to kill now, so they're not much of a problem, but even in high-end greater rifts, they're not much of a problem, especially as a charge barb with freeze, I mean, if you don't have that kind of CC, I mean, maybe they could be a little bit, I don't know. But summons a fallen lunatic to your side every value seconds. So the thing's gonna pop up, run into the enemies, and boom! It'd be nice if it did some serious damage, but who knows? It all depends on what slot, what trade offs you have to make. I just think that's kinda cool. Alright, chance to create an area of focused power on killing a monster. Damage is increased by value percent while standing in the area. Alright, folks. Okay, so when you kill things, there's a chance that you're going to get a buff, and that buff is going to be a GTAOE, so it's going to target on the ground wherever you're standing, and there's going to be like a little cir circle, an aura, kind of like a monk's circle that gives you defense. It's going to pop up on the floor and increase your offense while you're standing in it. Um... Hands are greener than killing a monster. I don't know, it depends on if it spawns on you or if it spawns on where you killed it. For a barb, that could be, uh, maybe, uh, I don't know, we'll see. Okay, another one. After five consecutive non-critical hits, your chance to critical hit is increased by 100% for value seconds. That's, that's pretty cool, honestly. Alright. Gain value, increase damage to a single element for five seconds. This effect rotates through the elements available to your class in the following order. Arcane, Cold, Fire, Holy, Lightning, Physical, Poison. Okay. I guess. Chance to smite enemies for 1500 to 1800% weapon damage is Lightning when you hit them. Mm. Okay. Kind of like Mirene, um, sure. Picking up a health globe increases your maximum life by value percent for 30 seconds, stacking up to five times, meh. Blocks having a chance of summoning a charging wolf that deals value percent weapon damage to all enemies it pierces through. Well, that's already on the West March Defender Shield, right? After falling below value percent life, all attacks are guaranteed critical hits for four seconds. Okay, that kind of works cool, I guess. Maybe with a... I mean, no, not really. Depends on what that value is. If that value is like 50%, or if that value is high at like 70%. That would be really cool. 
Who knows? Um, speaking of barbarians getting a second life passive, where if you die, it brings you to 15% and you're immune to CC and you take 95% less damage. That was also further down in the patch notes, so that's, you know... What could you say about that, right? A lot of people have been asking for that, especially for hardcore, because Barb is, like, really, really rough to play in hardcore because of not having a second life passive. There you go, guys. There you go. Alright, so enemies you attack also take increased damage from allied players, followers, and pets. Interesting. Gain value percent melee damage reduction. Okay, while below value percent life, you may move unhindered through enemies. Alright. Your overhealing from life per hit and life per second are applied as an absorb shield for up to value percent of your maximum life. Okay, up to value percent of your maximum life. That's interesting. So if it's like 100% of your maximum life, you'd essentially get to double your health pool so that you barely ever take damage from your health pool this could actually allow you like if you could get that full health up huh okay you're overhealing from life per hit and life per second are applied okay so it's nothing to do with life per fury or healing from any other manner so meh plus i, I think that's already you know that's on that gem what am i thinking that that's on the one of the newer gems and it's uh for a gem slot. Eh. And there's lots better stuff. All this stuff that I'm reading, it all depends on what slot they fall on. I mean, it would be lovely to have every one of these on my character and just be able to use everything. But, you know, you gotta pick and choose which ones you think are the best. So. Your cold skills now apply chill effects, and your chill effects now slow enemy movement by an additional value percent. That's a gem. Oh, all these are gems. The, the last ones that I've just been reading. And this last gem. Gain value percent, increased chance to critically strike chilled and frozen enemies. That, that sounds pretty good. Especially for a charge barb. I mean, everything's frozen, right? Okay, legendary potion. Restore value percent resource when used below 50% health. Up from 25 change potion or okay yeah yeah that used to be uh you know on the potion it doesn't matter because it's just a potion all right so this is um some of those uh micro transactions i was talking about that were coming to the asia server platinum slash premium features not for na or eu this is just asia <laughs> So you're able to buy some portraits, and there's like a rainbow portrait for the pony level, I guess. Some nice little angel portrait, and the mouth ale sight portrait. Some bones, and I don't know. Some cool stuff. Honestly, like, I would love to be able to buy one of these portraits. I kind of like the mouth ale one, or the Tyrael looking one. I'd probably get this one, because I just got the blue Tyrael wings. So this portrait would go really well. <laughs> I don't know. I would love that kind of stuff. I love cosmetic. I, I, I just, I don't know. I'm a sucker for it. I'm a sucker for it. I love cosmetic microtransactions. Like I said, I just bought the uh, Vanilla Collector's Edition for the Tyrael Wings. Um, matter of fact, if you don't know what that is, let me go in game and show you. Um, they are gonna, there's gonna be ways to get points for, to buy stuff in this microtransaction store through actually playing the game itself. As it said right here, like, your, your first treasure goblin is gonna drop platinum, and your, your first daily quest, and your first boss kill, and all this stuff every day. You could log in and collect these points, and then you could kind of spend them on whatever little things you want. Um, matter of fact, here, let's, uh... Do, do, do. These these are the Tyrael wings. All right, so you're gonna be able to buy some wings. Like I said, this is the Asia service. So eventually, maybe some of this will come over to us. Maybe only like half of it. Maybe not none of it at all. Who knows? Who knows at this point? 
But these are the wings from the Vanilla Collector's Edition. They're pretty expensive right now because Vanilla Collector's Edition sold out like really, really early on when like it just went on pre-order. It already sold out within like the first day or few days or a few hours. I don't, I don't remember. I don't remember. But you know, there's these Tyrael wings. These, this banner you could still get. This banner is from World of Warcraft, the new Warlords of Draenor expansion. Then there's little pets. They're going to be selling pets. This one, this little pet right here, is from the Diablo 3 Reaper of Souls Collector's Edition. Um, there's other wings with other colors. I know my stash is a mess, and I probably can't find all my wings right now. Here's some other wings. Um, maybe they'll sell some special dyes. I didn't really see anything about that. So we got the Tyria wings right here, the angelic wings from Vanilla Collector's Edition. Then we got these red wings of valor or yellow or orange or whatever you want to call them. Um, wings of valor, this was from pre-ordering Reaper of Souls. And then you got these blade wings, which is from uh, Heart of the Swarm, StarCraft II, uh, Digital Deluxe Edition. Um, yeah, those are pretty cool. So probably going to see some wings and stuff like that. I read something about bat wings which are kind of like demon wings and all this cool stuff um let's kind of go back there yeah all that cool stuff and i'm really hoping some of this comes over to the u.s because i'm just a sucker for that but i also see some stuff that i don't like too much namely this right here 25 percent experience boost 25 percent blood shard boost 25 percent gold find that doesn't matter but these two right here, like, uh, that gives people an advantage. But it all depends. If it's, like, part of a subscription that you pay, like, you pay $5 a month, or if you pay $10, $15, whatever it is, that, you know, you get all these things the whole time. And, you know, that's fine. Like, I would love to pay a subscription on Diablo, an optional subscription, get little perks. I really don't want advantages like that, though. I really don't want experience boost. I don't want blood shard boost. Um, it, it's, it all depends, like, how much they're charging, how long they last, and, and all this stuff. But then again, like I said, this is Asia server. I know people are going to go crazy over this. This is for the Asia server. We're not getting this, guys. US, EU, we're not getting this. So, you know, don't, don't take this too seriously. Don't think that this is going to happen to Diablo. We don't know yet. We just don't know. There are some parts of this that I absolutely love, and... I think it's good that, you know, microtransactions for, like, cosmetic stuff help fund the game, you know? It does. It, you know, you generates a little extra revenue. The game gets worked on a little more. If the game's bringing in more money, they're going to put in a little more money into the game to get more people to come in to, so they can make even more money. That's kind of how this thing works. So, um, yeah, I would love to buy little things here and there to support Diablo and help the game grow and get patched more often and all that stuff that is great but i mean as of lately we've been getting some ridiculous patches i mean compared to vanilla reaper of souls and the patches we've been getting and all the stuff that's been going on it's been amazing it's been amazing we already got way more in patches for reaper of souls and we're only 2.2 i mean d3 vanilla went to 1.8 and we got way more, way more stuff in Reaper of Souls than we got through those eight major and all the little minor patches in between um, in Vanilla. So, yeah. Can't really complain. Can't really complain. So, there's lots of cosmetic item descriptions. So, you can read kind of like what there is. Some portrait frames, wings. They got uh, black and yellow wings. Demonic. Demonic black and yellow. Demonic black and red. Demonic black cayenne dem demonic black blue angel two-tone purple angel two-tone gold um angel frame cayenne angel flame uh flame sorry orange cosmetic wings bug a pair of wings a zerg queen would love um imperious wings yeah then we got some some pets over here uh there's a fallen hound skeleton. I guess that's similar to what we have. The one I just showed you. Classes to skill changes. Nerves of steel. That's a passive. 
Fatal damage instead reduces you to 15% life. For 3 seconds afterward, you take 95% reduced damage and are immune to all control impairing effects. This effect may occur once every 60 seconds. So that's the, the second life passive. That could be cool. I don't know, especially hardcore. That's going to help a lot. Call of the Ancients got some changes here. Oh my god, there's so much stuff. So much stuff. I'm still going on, guys. Oh, we're almost done. Don't worry. <laughs> Call the Ancients, Ancients Blessing. Each point of fury you spend heals you and your Ancients for 966 life. That's uh, interesting, I guess. Life for fury, right? Huh. Duty to the clan. Enemies hit by Ancients are chilled for 2 seconds and have 10% chan increased chance to be critically hit. The Ancients' damage turns into lightning. Okay, so Duty to the Clan just changed from cold to lightning. That's it. Okay. Um, the other classes got a few things. I'm not really going to go through that. We got Cursed Realms, which are kind of like little quest special things. Um, explosive Wake. You drop explosions behind you every two seconds. Don't stop. Um, your skills and gear do not function in this realm. Healing is suppressed. Pets and followers are removed. Collect vials by walking through them or all at once with the Erethral Grasp power. Um, little, I don't know, kind of mini-game type quest deals. Who knows? They're adding them to the game. Whatever. Cool stuff. Um, items, flavor stuff. If you really want to go through all this stuff, you can kind of figure out like what kind of new items are coming in. Um, new bounties, new level areas, follower quest something or another, whatever. And that is it, guys. We did it. Yes. It's over. Now I can go play the game and stream and stuff and hang out with you guys. All right, so I'm done. I'm totally done. I hope you liked the video, hope you found that helpful, if you want, like, subscribe, share, blah 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 blah, much appreciated, yeah, 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 yeah. later.